It's a quiet night in Blanco, Texas. All right, Lisa, good job, good job. But inside this humble building, things are on a roll. Holy cow. This is Nine Pin Bowling. Come on, Howard. Brought here by German immigrants in the mid-1800s. Once popular across the country, it is now only played in South and Central Texas. During the Prohibition period, Nine Pin was associated with the, like speakeasies. It was also associated with gambling. And during Prohibition, Nine Pin Bowling Clubs started closing everywhere but Texas. Just because Texans kind of do their own thing. Today, there are just 19 nine pin bowling alleys left in Bear, Comal, and Guadalupe counties. From what I know, we are the only people left in the country doing it. It's different than modern bowling. The pins are set up in a diamond. The goal, don't hit the middle red pin. The activity of trying to get leave just the pin in the middle makes it more interesting, more fun. Teams have six members and bowl as a team. Nine pin, you go up there and you bowl and you leave something, and then you bowl again and you still miss, well, they send somebody else. All right, Aaron, go get them. To go get that pin. And you can pick and choose who you want to send on your team. It fosters more of a family atmosphere and a group out here, which makes it actually more enjoyable. There are no automated pin setting machines. Just set them up and they knock them down. Pin setters, usually children and teens and often family, set the pins by hand and return the balls. Sometimes you get hit. You set them up only for them to knock it back down. I set pins here uh, for my parents, like my son right now setting pins for us. It's been played through generations. We started this when we were six years old. Our parents were members out here. That would be me, and that's Savannah. All three Kaler sisters are now carrying on the tradition. Growing up, I didn't even realize 10 pin existed. I thought it, everybody bowled nine pin. Oh. Founded in the 1890s, Sandy Markham doesn't want to lose this piece of history. My parents did this and that's how I learned to do it. A lot of people, young people, are uh, not interested in this type of thing. We're desperately trying to keep the tradition alive. The bowling clubs are social clubs, averaging two to three hundred members. Everyone pays annual dues, 10 to $30 a year. But then a game is half the price of 10 pen. Our open bowling is $2 a game. To attract new members, clubs offer open bowling. If they bowl once, they're done, they're hooked. You'll fall in love with it. My dad used to bowl a lot, so we kind of took it up to do that as well. The calendar started playing this year. It's a lot more challenging. It really forces you to kind of, you know, bring the team into the sport. You know, you rely on all your teammates. Yeah. Now that's more like it. And the bowling clubs are hoping to bring in more new members to carry on this Texas tradition. Yay! We're still keeping it alive. Deborah Knapp. Hot dog. Ken's five. Come on, Howard, you're up. Eyewitness News. You keep that up all game, I'll buy you a beer.